2022 was pretty adventurous, I might say. Had some funky things happen. I feel like that's every day though. So day 22 included mostly just a day of packing and getting like my life together to get back on the road. And it did take me some time today to get all that done. I got to go horseback riding, which was so awesome. Love that. I haven't been on horse for a while, but I do love to ride. And Aaron and one other lady from TP and I went out with Toby the Wrangler and explored a bunch of different trails for the morning. It was such a beautiful day and I really enjoyed the trails. We saw some deer and then Toby took us up high, way up high on TP to a meadow where we had an opportunity to just look out over the top of the Bighorns and then down into the valley below towards the city of Sheridan. The perfect temperature, perfect, just a perfect experience. We had such a good time together and I really love seeing things from a slightly different perspective. And I love my horse Ajax. He was the coolest. We kind of look alike, don't you think? And we really enjoyed each other. He liked to do a little bit of trotting and cantering, which I thought was great because I love a horse with just a little bit of attitude. We were paired well together. Isn't he cute? I just loved him. And Erin was with her horse, Hank, who is also adorable. We had a chance to say hello to a few of the other guys before our time at the corral was done. It was so much fun. Oh, this has been such a day and it is still the middle of the afternoon. So I'm on my way to Sheridan Stationery to do a Friday afternoon happy hour book signing. So who knows what that's going to be like. I'm excited. Uh, the store is really cute. I think they have a just a lovely presence, really wonderful presence in downtown Sheridan. I'm excited that Jennifer has invited me to sign books, talk to the people. It's going to be fun. Getting here, however, has been a lot. It was the plan to leave my friends a little before four so that we could get down the mountain and get set up and do all the things. Decided to take Lexi for one more walk so that she could go swimming one more time before we left. And I know that she knew that we were packing the car to leave. And she was excited to swim and she's running around in the lake. And then all of a sudden she wasn't there and we couldn't find her anywhere. And after about 20 minutes, I really started to panic because that is so unlike her. But I also knew that she knew we were leaving and I thought maybe she would do something different. I don't know. Long story short, and boy did it feel long. It was, it was a pretty horrible, maybe 20 minutes, I don't know. We looked everywhere. I ran probably a mile and a half around the lake, trying to find her, panic increasing, and then it finally occurred to me that it was very likely she would have gone back to the cabin if she couldn't find me. And so there she was, waiting on the porch, looking like nothing's wrong, and wondering where the heck I've been. To say that I was a little freaked out is an understatement, especially because Toby the Wrangler had been telling us stories of seeing a mountain lion not that long ago on the property. So of course I really freaked out, but all's well that ends well. And I knew deep in my heart that my girl would not just run off. That's not her style. She's too much of a baby. So the sun is setting for the day. It's also setting on my time in Sheridan and the Bighorns, a rare sighting of me on a highway. Lexi and I are off to Billings, which is a beautiful drive across 90, actually. It's just a two-hour drive where we're spending the night because we have another event in Livingston, Montana, tomorrow morning at 11. So this evening, I had a signing event at Sheridan Stationery in downtown Sheridan, which is the coolest little bookstore absolutely loved it and they definitely have their tried and true customers and I met some lovely people who came in one of whom had already read the book cover to cover which I just really appreciated and loved and so she was anxious to talk about it and I was happy to have that conversation with her so that was really cool so shout out to Jennifer and to the whole Sheridan stationery crew it was just a really fun time to connect and have really good conversations with people. 
who were reading the book, interested in the book, had already read the book, all of that, who loved it so much. All of these days have their own quirks and their own oddities, and between almost losing Lexi today, which, oh my gosh, that was terrible, and awesome horseback riding, really fun event tonight, and then trying to do all the things to get ready to pack up and go, it was just a lot. I don't think I'll have any trouble sleeping tonight. We'll see you back here tomorrow for day 23. Day 23 is going to be an adventure in itself because other than my book signing, which starts at 11 and ends at 2, I'm going to be spending a little time checking out Livingston, and then Lex and I are going to hit the road and start heading south. I don't know how far we're going to drive. I don't know where we're going to stay. We've got the behemoth of Yellowstone in front of us, so with no place to stay in there. So a little nervous, but it'll work out. Thanks for sticking with us. Love that you have been along for this long ride in Wyoming and Montana. And I don't know how many times I've gone back and forth across the border, but I just crossed back into Montana and tomorrow I'll go back into Wyoming. One of the things that the ladies, uh, some of the ladies I was talking to tonight were interested in the idea that I was actually doing what my book says. So this whole trip is course the summer of wonder road trip through the rockies and it is in fact living out there's wonder around the bend and trying it on for size for people to see how it all works and i think they really liked that idea and were fascinated by that can't wait to for another day so blessed so fortunate to have the opportunity for this entire adventure i'm very grateful for each one of you who are invested in the entire production. So hang in there. We have got two more weeks to go and a whole new state to conquer in Colorado in a couple days. Sun is setting behind the bighorns. It's been a beautiful day. Please like and subscribe. Check out yesterday's video if you haven't already seen it from day 21. And Lexi and I will see you on the road.